Hey friends, back real quick. Just want to show you a quick little thing. I know this has been showed many, many, many times on YouTube, but uh, for those that may not have turned on and seen it before, um, you know, you get your pack or whatever kind that you have that you're carrying. This is just out of my uh, the Canadian uh, surplus uh, 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 rucksack. Um, but something you can do. What I do, because it doesn't have like a, a hand thing on the back of it, is just take the an old shoelace. And it's just basically uh, it's wrapped around the, the wire frame, and then I'm going to tie it on so it makes a handle so I can carry it, you know, pick it up or whatever, put it in, in and out of the vehicle. But when you come to your site, rather than it having to be sitting on the ground, and this is the part I'm talking about, that there's been many people have done this on YouTube, but I'm just kind of showing those that might not see. You just turn around and take a stick, and uh, basically I just took a piece of bank line that I had, you know, you put it to the length that you want, and then I just tied it together. And then you just loop it, you know, like a slip loop around the stick on one end, loop it around the tree on the other, and then basically you just feed the stick through here, right, until it turns on and hangs. As you can see there how it's hanging up. That'll turn around and hold your bag up in the air. And then I just take the, uh, the waist belt that, uh, around your waist and I tighten it right up around the tree. All it does is just kind of stops it, as you can see, I'm turning, I'm pulling on it there. It just stops the bag from the wind catching it and wanting to throw the bag all over the place. So, just a quick little tip for those. Like I say, it's been out there before, but if anybody hasn't seen it before, kind of neat little thing. Hey friends, back again. Got the fire going here and uh, turn around and taking the time while there's still a little bit of light. As I said before, we got that stream right behind us there that's uh, nice. So we don't have to lug in all that water. <coughs> I'm just sitting here right now just uh, taking the time and uh, filtering some water. And yes, the yellow is not yellow because of the fact the water's yellow. It's just yellow because I've got um, those Mio things you can buy. I like to get them and uh, I carry them with my water kit now. Just, uh, you know, as you know, with using the, the Sawyer, sometimes you might get water that, uh, you know, it's going to take all the cryptosporidium and all that kind of stuff out of it. But, uh, you know, it might still have a little funny taste or whatever. So I like to just turn around and carry them with me and throw it in just to give give the water a little bit of flavor. But then uh, still got the water in this one and then uh, a bit of water left in the bottle with uh, coffee or whatever. I'm gonna lost the top to my soil. Why not? But anyway. So yeah, so we got this going now, the fire's going, it's really nice, it's starting to warm up a little bit, it's not as cold as it was, so we'll probably turn on and cut it off for now, um, you know, my camera's not the greatest in the dark, so I'll come back in the morning and uh, I'll show you, I won't, uh, I'll leave my bivy in that where it is so you can kind of see where I was laying and how I slept and let you know how it worked out, so anyway, until then, see you in the morning. Alright folks, <clears throat> and bear with me, you probably can't see too much, but like I said, my camera's not the best turn around in uh, at night time, so I just got my flashlight <laughs> underneath it, but uh, try to do this the best that I can, as you can see, I'm all tucked in, I'm in my bivy, you can see all the way down, Cole's hiding over there. He's in his <laughs> tucked in. He looks like a mummy. <laughs> All right. Let's say, guys, I know my hands going in front here. Just more of the comical, funny thing. Just bear with us. There we go. Feel like a cone head. <laughs> cone head. Yeah. Put the put the thing on. It's like a cone head. See, you can see there. <laughs> but anyway. As you can see, we're on the ground. 
I don't know if that's going to show up. I'm pointing straight up in the air. You can tell we got no cover on at all. Just uh, under the stars. Under the stars and in the bivy. <laughs> Minus five. <laughs> yeah, we checked the temperature before we got in, and as Cole just said, it's uh, it's minus five out right now. And uh, I mean, there's no way you can feel it, but I'm inside and ah, uh, toasty, toasty warm. No problem at all. Um, it could probably turn out, like I said, drop down about another 10, another 10, 15 degrees, and we'd still be fine. But I don't know if you see up there. Look at that sight. You can just make it out with the camera. That's what we're looking at. We got a full moon tonight. So uh, anyway, just thought I'd do that a little quick. We'll uh, definitely turn around and check in in the morning and uh, let you know how things went. Anyway, till then, take care. Morning, folks. Well, we survived the night. It got cold. So cold. I don't know how well that's going to show up, but you can hear it. There's ice in there. <laughs> Down to, oh gosh, almost minus 10 last night. And of course, in the morning, got to get a coffee, get priority straight. Green Cup Club, got to love it. But uh, everything went good. The uh, try to move the camera down a bit. See where I had my bivy in that. As I said, I was just flaked out there. Cole was off to the side, and uh, it was nice and toasty, warm in there. Had no problems at all. But uh, get up this morning, didn't want to get out of the bag. <laughs> Got the sun coming out now, so just gonna sit around, warm up. Try to dry a little bit of the stuff out that got wet underneath, stuff like that, like the bivvies and stuff, and then uh, probably play around a little bit. And uh, anything interesting, I'll definitely throw the camera back on. So until then, she isn't a bit. Oh, hey folks, turn around see if I did something kind of cool to turn on and come back from this morning. Just got all packed up and getting ready to head out. And I made myself a couch. As you can tell, it sits up off the ground. It's nice, it's got support. Just next time I come out, I'm gonna turn it on and put in a branch here. Turn it on and hold it up a little bit better. But got myself a couch, it's nice and comfy to sit. Fire will be there, it's always nice. It's really great when you come out in the bush and uh, sit and relax. But anyway, let's go to the trip once again. Come out with Mr. Cole Craven Bush got, he's hiding over there in the corner trying to stay out of the camera view. He's scared. I'm actually packing. <laughs> he's scared. No. But anyway, <laughs> once again, awesome trip. We always have a good time when we come out. And uh, hopefully I'll turn around and uh, open plan is going to be, if everything goes as, as well as planned, or hopefully we might, uh, we might actually turn around and have a uh, joint venture of Cole and I. At least uh, a new video coming out at least once a week uh, is the plan right now. It's not in stone, but that's what we're shooting for. So anyway, as always, feel free, comment, like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Until the next time, take care. God bless.